Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com, and today it's another Motion Graphics Monday. Today we're going to take a look at the new updates that Adobe After Effects released. In this case, we're going to take a look on the master properties specifically. So it's a new update that came in Adobe After Effects to make your work easier and faster, and everybody loves that, right? So let's jump into Adobe After Effects and see how it works and how to use it. <laughs> Alright, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and let's take a look at the Master Properties update from 2018 April, uh, a very cool update that allows you to uh, just make a lot of variations of a project without a lot of work and easily uh, allow you to change everything and go back and forth. Um, for example, if you're working for a client and you want plenty of variations but with an easy workflow, this update is amazing. So uh, let's take a look. Right here we have uh, a template that I created, uh, which you can go ahead on and buy on our website if you want to. It helps to support the channel if you do. Um, but this is uh, very simple, but in the template you can actually modify everything like the text, the color, the size, um, the, the width of everything. Uh, so that's how you could do that. But I actually down converted this template so it's actually like a raw kind of project so here we don't have any kind of uh, options to change everything I also added a background and these Venetian blinds uh, so we have a lot of variation going on so let's say we have a client and he wants some variations of this project um, without too much work how you would do that in the in the past was going to your composition in the project manager going to edit and duplicate that or control d uh, actually edit duplicate right here uh, and jump into that maybe rename it and then just go to the text tool change everything go in the background go to the effects um, maybe change the color here for the venetian blinds you had to change this and this whatever you had to change you had to go in each layer individually and if this is a really big project, imagine it's a really big composition with plenty of layers. This gets very tedious very quickly and it's very hard to keep track of everything that you want to change. So now in a new update, they actually created a master properties that you can design completely by yourself. And then these settings are going to be like the main settings that you can change if you want to make a lot of variations of that specific project. So uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying right here, let me demonstrate in Adobe After Effects very easily. So to get started on creating master properties, you actually need to work within Essential Graphics, which is also quite recent uh, window, Essential Graphics, that is right here. And as you can see, nothing happened here. We'll give this a name and this is going to be like an elegant title. And the master composition is actually the composition that we want to work with. Actually, I'm going to delete the other composition that we just created and open up the main composition that we have right here. So in Essential Graphics, uh, you will see this button, Solo Supported Properties. And if you click that, you will have a bunch of settings that you can actually use within Essential Graphics. And actually, with the new update, they also allowed you to work with a lot more settings than they used to uh, before. For example, like the size, the scale, um, the, the positioning, which was a really big factor uh, for the previous versions. You had to actually go and, and work around all of that, but now they actually included it so you can uh, include the size position uh, and stuff like that. So really cool. Okay, so uh, what we wanna do is for example, let's say this is our first line, let's solo it. So we're talking about a line here. What we wanna be able to do here is actually go into uh, the fill effect and we want to select this color and bring it in here. And this is going to be the color uh, for the um, rectangle here. So rectangle one. And uh, so let's close this down. And then we have another line uh, right here, which is actually exactly the same thing with another color. So um, color rectangle two. Um, let's bring this, close it. That's all we need here. Then we have this alpha mat, which we don't need. We have our text, we have our source text, and we can also include our source text, which is really cool. We can bring the source text right here, and this is uh, just our text with its text color. Also bring this, like rename it to text color. Okay, maybe we want to also change some things about the Venetian blind. So for example, we want to change the completion. Uh, we also want to change the width blinds with there we go um, the feather I'm going to leave it as it is maybe the direction we also want to change that um, and then also the fill 
And then lastly, we still have the background here, also a background color. Okay, so now we set up all the settings that we want to change and make variations of. So that's something you already think of beforehand. And like, yeah, of course, logically the text will be changing, the colors will be changing, uh, maybe some sizes and stuff like that. But basically we have narrowed it down to these settings right here. Now what you can do is actually click on this composition right here in the project manager and drag it into a new composition. And that brings this composition to master composition uh, in here. But now if you wanted to change it and you go in here, like let's say we have a few of these and you wanted all of these to be different, you actually needed all duplicates of this composition, the main composition to do that. Now you don't need to do that anymore. If you go into one, let, let's undo that very quickly. So we can start from scratch here. We drag this into a new composition like I did at first and we'll rename this for example, yellow version. Now uh, we can jump in here on the main composition. We can also close the essential graphics because that actually has nothing to do anymore. Uh, and we open up the arrow right here. If we open it up, we see now a new option called master properties. If you open that up, you will see all the settings that we just created. So very easily, if we go to the final result right here, we can change the colors to a different color. Okay, let's, let's make something nice. Uh, actually take the same color here. And now we have a different version. Maybe we want another text. So go to the uh, source text, right click and edit the value. Right here, we're going to just uh, rename this to uh, change text, just to demonstrate. And if we click OK, so now we have a different text. Uh, maybe we also want to change the size, but that's for, uh, yeah. So there we go. We have a different different version, but actually working from the same composition that we had right here. So if you open it up, you can see that we have the original composition. These are just extra settings that you can do on top of it. But now you can do endless variations. You can make a blue one by dragging the main composition again in a new composition, renaming this to blue version. And now let's say, let's open up the master properties here and maybe change the blinds a little bit. So maybe you want to change the rotation of the blinds to be linear. Well, actually, yeah, maybe like this. Looks pretty cool. And make them blue. And there we go. So now we have this kind of version. And very quickly, we can create a new one. And maybe a green version. Again, jump in, maybe make it 90 degrees this time. Maybe make them also closer together and go for a nice green color. And maybe we want to make these kind of a lime green. Now we have yet another variation. And of course, the more effects you apply here, the more you can vary and do variations on. Maybe you wanna go back into your main composition and let's say, oh, I forgot to add this kind of effect that I also want to be able to modify. No problem, you don't have to start over and do all the settings again. So you can just go in here. Uh, maybe you want to also change, let's have a look here. Um, Right here I have an expression, and this is actually part of an expression pack that we're still making, um, but this slider effect, let's say um, this actually speeds up how fast uh, the text actually spreads. So uh, maybe you wanna change that as well. So just as a uh, example here, we can go ahead and go to the window, essential graphics, add this effect in here. And this is going to be like the spread speed and go back to your other compositions and immediately you will see that spread speed is also in here and you can go ahead and change this now. Uh, so now we have a different kind of speed in here. You can go back in our main composition and do something else. Maybe we want to still add like a new effect and we want to change instead of a fill, we want to add a gradient. So ramp, gradient. And then we want to add these colors. Uh, we actually have to open it up here in the uh, timeline and add the gradient color. So we have the start color and the end color. Let's go back to our other versions and now we have it right here. So we can go ahead and maybe choose a nice yellow color. And that way you get these kind of variations.
And that's basically it. You can do endless and endless kind of variations. And now you send it all to your client. He will say, oh, I like the blue one, but I like the Venetian blinds of the green one. So maybe you want to go ahead and come back here and, and change it to a little bit different. But then you already have a lead to where you want to go and you can make a lot of variations very quickly. Because as you have seen, we have used five minutes to create four different variations, which is really cool. You don't have to jump into the composition again. If you want to add something later on, you can still do that in that composition which you can do if you are just going to duplicate that composition to modify it then you actually have to jump into each uh, different composition and adjust it now you just do it in one master composition all the basic settings and then you have all these other uh, compositions which are going to be all your variations uh, color wise size wise positioning wise and stuff like that so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a like also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website we have a bunch to offer for motion graphics artists and filmmakers and if you buy something it helps to support the channel so hope to see you in the next one and goodbye